today is about the course project of the software testing. So since we're talking about software testing, you may ask how to find bugs in a software, and there's different ways to tackle this. One way is to look at the software as a black box and look at the input space of this black box, try to analyze the inputs. For example, in this case, if we have two inputs for this application or this program, then in order to test the application, we have to try all the inputs, which if they are integers, it can be infinity. When we are talking about computer and a register of 32 bits for integer, then for all combinations of those two inputs, we have 2 to the power of 64, which is too large. So what we need to do in order to reduce this and in order to reduce the input space, one way is to open this box, which we call what we call white box testing and look inside in order to find some rules uh, that allows us to reduce the input space. But even this, now when we're living in the big data uh, world, we have also big code. And if a tester wants to test a big code, I think he will turn to a skeleton before he finish understanding the whole code. So the question is, it's possible to find errors in a code that we do not understand. If you agree with this, raise your hand. Okay, and if you don't agree, raise your hand. Okay, if you raise your hand, could you please raise your hand? Okay, <laughs> so he's wrong, and you're right. <laughs> Okay, and this is the main idea of today's project. So since you all agree on one thing, you're right, and the one who is anomaly, sorry, <laughs> okay, is the wrong person. So the main idea is rather than to understand what rules the system must follow or what state uh, is the system in, which we show that it's difficult, we want to infer the rules that the system believes it must obey and the state it believes it's in. You may ask me what rules you're talking about. So it's simple rules such as a function must follow a function. You can see this in concurrent programs with locks and unlocks. Or does bar b p uh, free the pointer, which is memory allocation and deallocation, and does lock I protect X, etc. Which, as you can see, they're simple rules, as those simple rules that we need to speak Icelandic. You start with yaya, then you can have a couple of yao and a couple of yus, and you can combine uus and yao yao. So, how many rules does the system contain? Well, of course, more than those for the simple Icelandic language. There's lots of them, and this can be overwhelming. So, yeah, it's this way. Okay, good. So, if you know how to, uh, if you uh, understand this and you know how to discover this uh, anomaly and this pattern, then you almost understood this lecture. So the intuition here is how to find errors without knowing the truth, and we base this on two main concepts: contradiction and deviance. So. This is based on the fact that in order to find lies, we can cross-examine the must belief. So if you cross-examine two must beliefs and you find contradiction, this is 100% an error. While in deviance, to infer correct behavior, we can say oh, if x does this and y does this, we can tell. But if 100% say yes, yeah, or 1,000 people say yes, and one say no, then he's wrong. So this is the main idea. Now we are in the uh, software testing project, students um, compile the code, generate bytecode, and based on that generate call graphs. And based on these call graphs, which looks similar to this, they can find the patterns. And based on these patterns, they can find the evidence and uh, support, which can rank the errors and bugs. And based on that, we can say that this is most likely a bug. So this is uh, this approach, of course, the benefits of its scale, it's precise, it's immediate, uh, immediate, but most importantly, while this approach is very simple, it's very effective. When applied to the Linux kernel, this approach has been able to discover over than 1,500 of bugs. So to summarize, uh, to find errors without knowing the truth, we need to check, to check the code belief. There is 
uh, most belief and may beliefs and most and contradiction in most belief result in 100% error while a contradiction in the may belief we need to rank these uh, may beliefs according to confidence in order to know the false and all this based on the assumption that you all together can have a majority for the right decision and based on the assumption that the majority of code is correct so the software testing project is based on Dawson Engler work uh, at Stanford and a project that has been designed by Patrick Lam and Linton uh, at, at U Waterloo and it has been adopted for the software testing courses with some modification. Thank you. <laughs>